Hello and welcome to Berwick Mitsubishi. My name is Wayne. I'm going to give you a full video walk around on our 2010 Mitsubishi ASX. The car is presented in Kingfisher Blue, which is a pretty rare colour, not made anymore. Very, very clean example of the ASX, a credit to the previous owner. Moving all the way around across the front, as you can see across the top of the bonnet there at the front, no stone chips, very clean around the corner. As we look down the side of the car on the driver's side, there's no dents or scratches from shopping trolleys and etc. does have 16 inch alloy wheels and as you can see, pretty much brand new tyres on the front there, very good tread. All the way down through the side. If you have a look, you can see it is fitted with tinted windows already. And moving down again, alloy wheel in excellent condition with plenty of tread there on the back tyre. Moving around to the back of the ASX, this is where you get to see some of the really nice styling from Mitsubishi on the ASX. Bit of an aggressive stance at the back there, it does look quite nice. Moving back around to the passenger side of the vehicle, it is much much the same as the driver's side. There's no dents or scratches down this side either. Very, very clean car. And again, just a credit to the previous owner with how they've kept it. Back left wheel is generally the one that does get scuffed up um, on the gutter there, but this one is in excellent condition with no marks on there at all. And again, good tread on the tyre. Down through the two doors. Front guard there. These are actually a polycarbonate front guard and they're actually designed to have a lot of bend and flex in them and if you do actually bump into it, it will bend in and actually pop straight back out, not needing any repair. So it is a very good feature of the ASX there because generally they're the ones that tend to get bumped into. And moving around to the front of the car again, just a final view, as you can see, all round excellent condition on the outside. Gonna move in under the bonnet of the ASX now. As you can see, really easy latch to use. Quite a lightweight bonnet on these as well. Underneath here is Mitsubishi's famous 2 litre Myvec 4 cylinder engine. It does run at around 110 kilowatts of power and puts out probably 7.7 .7 litres of fuel economy per 100 kilometres driven. Service intervals on the ASX is at every 15,000 kilometres, so you will find that the servicing and the fuel economy make it a very cheap car to run. We move on into the back of the ASX now. As you can see, very lightweight, easy to lift up tailgate. Pretty much does it all by itself due to the twin gas struts there. Has got the parcel shelf here on a couple of strings, and as you can see, quite a large amount of room in the back of the car there. In underneath here you have got a space saver spare wheel which is brand new, never been on the car. All jack and tools are fitted under there. It has got a couple of nice uh, storage compartments down here. It also has got the two anchor points either side of the ASX there for the child seats as well. Overall good amount of space in such a small sized SUV style car. Sitting inside the ASX, I'm going to give you now a rundown of all the features inside the car, starting from the right hand side and moving our way across to the left. On the driver's door panel here, as you can see, you've got the full electrics to all four doors. You've got the window lock to stop the kids in the back playing with those, and also the door locks on there as well. And then you have got the electric mirrors for left and right. Has got a little button off to the side, which is perfect for the shopping centres. If you push that button down, as you can see, Mirror folds in automatically, push the button again, and opens all the way up. Now these are also attached to the remote central locking, so you can have it set up, push the lock button on the car, and both the mirrors fold straight in as well. I've got the key turned to on on the ignition to show you the dials. As you can see, nice lit up gauges there in white, which is very easy to read at night, and also a multicolour display in the middle showing the temperature of the vehicle and also the fuel. Um, odometer sitting at just over 46,000 k's now. Do you have cruise control situated on the leather wrapped steering wheel? Moving across through to the middle there, as you can see through here, you've got your clock and radio settings on there for which channel you've got saved and which one it's on, and also the CD settings will come up there as well. It is an MP3 compatible CD player here and all very easy to use. Hazard lights, it's got a passenger seatbelt alarm, so if someone jumps in the front 
passenger side, it will actually sound an alarm if they don't put their seatbelt on. And also air conditioning controls down through the middle here. Very easy to use. Direction of air, fan speed and air con, and then you've got the temperature of the air coming through. Got the power outlet down here in front of the gear stick, and also a, another cup holder. And if you want to, you can have an, uh, an ashtray added in there as well. Five-speed manual gearbox, very, very easy transmission and clutch setup to use. Simple and effective. Down through the middle, you've got two very good-sized cup holders there. Nice and deep and also wide, making sure that whatever drink you've got in there isn't going to fall over. In the centre console lid here, you've got a small tray in the top there, which is great for pens or keys or coins. And then when you lift that up, as you can see, it does have quite a deep centre console there with auxiliary input, USB input, and also a power outlet there as well. So great features inside there. In through the rest of the car as we move our way around, even the inside has been just as well looked after as the outside of the car as well. There's no scratches across the dash, across the doors. All the trims inside the car are in excellent condition. In terms of safety, the ASX is rated at 5-star ANCAP safety rating. The reason for that is ABS brakes, automatic stability control, and a lot of airbags. You've got one here situated in the steering wheel. You've got one over there on the passenger side dash. You've got side impact airbags which come out of the two front seats and you've also got the curtain airbags which run all the way through to the back of the car there as well. So again, overall, very, very safe car and been very, very well looked after all the way through. Looking at the books now, comes with the full complimentary Berwick Mitsubishi service book holder. Inside here it's got all the original uh, factory documents and the very large owner's manual just explaining all the key benefits that come with the car and it also comes with the service and warranty booklet inside here you see the servicing's been done pretty good had the original complimentary service done and then at Allen Mance Mitsubishi it's had 22,000 Ks Allen Mance Mitsubishi again at 38,000 Ks and Berwick Mitsubishi here at 46,000 Ks so it has only just been serviced Therefore, meaning you won't be due for a service until 60,000 Ks, so very economical driving. Thanks very much again for your inquiry on our 2010 Mitsubishi ASX manual Kingfisher Blue. Just to recap on a couple of good points, it does have registration through until the 30th of April next year. It's just had a service completed by us. Two pretty much brand new tyres on the front and good tread on the back. So once you buy the car, there's nothing further to spend money on. If you have any further questions, please call us on 03 9709 2999. Thank you.